Hello, you got DS1 for DS1.live radio station in Richmond, Indiana. We're coming to you today to talk about the drug addictions and the drugs in, in the state of Indiana. The state of Indiana has the highest rating of drugs with meth, crystal meth, uh, the, um, uh, bleh. Uh, <laughs> I had a loss for words there for a minute. Well, anyway, meth, heroin, and uh, all them other drugs. Um, you know, us as Christians, we need to stand up against these drugs in America. Um, these drugs are killing people. The heroin, the meth, and the crack cocaine is most worse in Richmond than it is anywhere else. We have a lot of deaths, a lot of suicides, and a lot of everything going on with this drug. We need to do something about it. Um, we need to set up programs to help people get saved. Not only that, we need to help people to overcome this drug. Like that American flag right there. Doesn't that mean anything to anybody anymore? American? American. You know, we're either Americans or we're not. You know, that flag stands for something. It stands for freedom. Freedom of speech. Freedom of being able to do what you want to do in America. But some people forget what that flag is about. You know, it either stands for stump something or it stands for nothing. You know, it's like Jesus. He either stands for something or he stands for nothing. And he stands for everything. If it weren't for him, this radio station wouldn't be going. If it weren't for him, I probably wouldn't even be alive. But, you know, we need to stand up as Americans and help people overcome this drug. And to overcome what's going on in, in our U.S. If we don't stand up for it, who is? Um, my radio station is all for all the above. I run five shows a day just for you. So you guys can have a Christian radio station to listen to of all genres. Hip-hop and rap, praise and worship, heavy metal, the Hispanic show. Uh, you know, it's it's all for a reason. It's to glorify God, and not only that, to bring peace and tranquility and hope to you, the people. We have to stand against these things. We have to stand up and say, hey, it's enough. Hey, you know, it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone. Get out there on the streets and start helping those who are in need and in trouble. No more deaths. No more overdoses. Let's get out there and help them and show them that there's a different way to live. There's a different way to do things other than that. There's no sense in these senseless killings uh, and senseless overdoses and senseless things that's going on in America today. All we got to do as Christians is stand up and lead by example. Show them that there's a better way, that there's a better life. That flag just waves on and on and on and on and showing Americans that we're in the land of the free. Well, it's not that free anymore because there's people in bondage. There's people in bondage with drugs, alcohol, murder, suicide. If we do not help these people, who is? I mean, you know, it's it's it we're either going to help or we're not. You can't have an in-between or an almost because in-between and almost don't work. You can't say, well, I'll just pray for you and then that's it and let it go. We have to get out there on the streets and do something about it. You have to stand up and make a stand. You have to say, yes, we're, we're going out there. We're going to help these people. Let's go to where they are.
don't wait on them to come to you because they're not coming. They're just like some churches afraid of change, afraid to step out, afraid to go out there and spread the gospel. They think doing it from their little church is, is it. It's, that's all there is to it. Well, it ain't. It gets nothing done. If we're to be like him, what did he do? He went out amongst the thieves, amongst the people, and taught to them and showed them a better way. If we're standing behind four walls, how are we going to do that? Are we getting anything done? We're, we're preaching to the same old people that we've been preaching to for the last hundred years, you know? It's time to step out. It's time to get out of your comfort zone. It's time to get in the streets. It's time to stop talking about it. It's time to do it. It's time to do something about it. We either stand for something or we stand for nothing. So, you know, I choose to stand for something. And as long as I got this radio station going, and it's and this radio station is for all the ministries, it's for all the pastors in Richmond, Indiana, it's for all the people that want to make a difference. That's what it's for. Oh, if you don't want to make a difference and you don't want to help people, then stay in your comfort zone. Stay where you're at. Because that's exactly how it's going to be. But for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord and we're going to stand for that right there, the flag. American flag stands for freedom. Freedom. Are they free? <laughs> you know, we need, to, we need to step up and do something soon. Or Richmond is going to go to heck in a handbasket. long as y'all safe in your little churches you know hey well we know all we all know how that goes but I choose to make a difference I choose to make a stand and that's what I'm gonna do so how many of you stand for that how many of you do you stand for the flag do you stand for Jesus? Do you stand for American way? Do you stand for seeing people saved? Do you stand for people getting free? Do you stand for bondages being broke? Do you stand for chains coming off? Well, there's only one way to do that, and that's to put eyes, ears, mouth, feet, hands to it. If you don't do that, then you're not doing it. So let's make a change today. Let's change the way we think and act. Let's think about them out there and let's help them get saved today. You got DS1 for DS1.live radio station coming to you live from the studios in Richmond, Indiana. Just take a good long look at that right there. If that don't mean anything to you, then I don't know what. God bless and have a great day.